Hey guys, I'm doing a little video on something a little different than hot rods. Today I'm working on a watch, and um, I bought this watch. The funny thing, I bought this watch in a pawn shop, and it was in like new shape, hardly worn. And the lady said the guy bought it, and the battery died, and he came in here and pawned it. I don't know. It was in a questionable area of town, but the watch was super nice. And it was a Michael Kors, and they wanted 40 bucks. I gave them 35 It's a gold one, a rose gold, uh, the two-tone. It will look very nice. So I took a chance. It wasn't running. Well, I don't do watch repair. Um, I'm a mechanic, but... Once you're a mechanic, you can, if you look at things and watch how it moves and pushes the buttons, you can kind of figure things out if you take your time. But this always doesn't apply. Well, I, I went ahead and already changed the battery, but this part of the case had to, um, let's see if I can zoom in here. The part of the plastic lip around the ring, that had to come out and they had push pins that came to this and I had to reline these all up so everything worked and everything was lined up the way it should be. Now this right here was where the battery had to slide in. This plastic piece had to come up to wedge it in and then I used like a small razor blade as a tool to push the battery in and I was careful because I didn't want to slice myself but I pushed the battery in and this was like working very small parts um, I already know I was successful um, because as you can see it's moving so haha it's gonna be a nice watch I have 35 into the watch you can kinda see with a and then I have about seven dollars into the battery um, the reason why I decided to do this and not just bite the bullet and pay 25 or 30 bucks and do it because I used to go to Walmart and use their tool. Well, they wouldn't allow me to use their tool and they said we can't repair any watches but Walmart brand watches. Well, I kind of got a little bit pissed off and I hit eBay up and I got my own tool and I was determined that I was going to fix this watch. Because the day I got it, I wanted to put a battery in it that day and it did not work out because Walmart was being funny. And I wanted to do it myself, honestly, you know, because I do my little projects. So when I took the watch case apart, everything came apart. I got the new battery and it works. Now I got to put uh, Peter and Paul back together and make sure it works right. But I figured a little something off the wall, a little different that I was doing that uh, a little watch repair that you can do yourself I think this tool on eBay was like five bucks you know what I mean and after it's all said and done my watch is gonna be beautiful like a new watch and have a new battery and I got about under 50 bucks on into it and it's probably a two hundred dollar plus watch you know with the tool with the battery and everything but I'm gonna button it all back up together I know it works and um, I just figured I'd show you, you know, you can do watch and battery repairs. It's no complex thing. You don't need special tools. You just got to watch what you're doing. And the little pins there, let's see if this thing zooms up. See the little pins? Let's see. As I push this, see how it moves in? Well, as I do this other one, see how it moves in? Everything there has got to be lined up. So once you pull that up a little bit to get the battery in, you got to get that back down and you need the razor blade to push the push pin back out or in. So um, this is Watch Repair from a Mechanic. Thanks, like, subscribe.